In this video I want to show you the concept of density and how to calculate density. So what is density? Density is the mass of substance per unit volume of the substance. So if we divide mass by volume, we get the density. So mass of anything divided by its volume is going to give us the density. Density is the ratio that compares the mass of an object to its volume. The units for density are often grams per cubic centimeter, as you see here. So gram per cubic centimeter. Density is defined as the ratio of the object's mass to its volume. It's the same thing basically here. We have the symbols. Usually density is shown by lowercase d or sometimes shown by rho, the Greek letter. M is the mass and um, capital V shows the volume. So the density of the liquid can be determined easily by weighing an accurately known volume of liquid. If a sample of aluminum has a mass of 13.5 gram per gram and a volume of 5 cubic centimeter, what is its density? So as you see here, we have 13.5 grams divided by 5 cubic centimeter that's gonna give us the density in terms of gram per cubic centimeter here we have some examples so density of some compounds chloroform for example 1.492 diethylene diethyl ether is 0.714 ethanol is 0.789 Isopropyl alcohol is 0.785 and toluene is 0.867. So as you see here, if you compare it with uh, density of water, density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. We can say the first one is heavier than water because the density is greater than the density of water. We can say this is the this is the color form is heavier than water and the rest of the compounds here because they have the density lower than one or lower than the density of water these compounds are lighter as you see here so if the mixture of any of these compounds with water forms two layers the top layer would be the lighter one and the bottom layer would be the heavier one for example if we mix uh, something uh, uh, immiscible with water, so for example chloroform, if it forms two layer, the top layer would be the water and the bottom layer would be the chloroform because chloroform has higher density. Let's have an example. A chemist finds that 25 cubic centimeter of the substance has a mass of 19.625 grams at 20 degrees Celsius. Which of, which of these compounds is the most likely to be the main component? So the density is mass over volume, 19.625 grams divided by 25.00 cubic centimeter. So the number is going to be 0 0.7850 gram per cubic centimeter. So if I go back, it's going to be very close to this one. So the answer is going to be isopropyl alcohol. That's the density of various common substances at 20 degrees Celsius. Oxygen, physical states, gas, and you can see the density. On the other hand, we have, for example, gold, which is a solid, and the density is 19.32. As you see here, the density of water is very close to one one gram per cubic centimeter these are some density ranges for different uh, phases for solid densities usually the range is between 0 0.2 to 20 gram per cubic centimeter for liquid density is going to be from 0 0.5 to 3 to 4 gram per cubic centimeter you know, the cubic centimeter and milliliter are equivalent. So one liter is equivalent to thousand milliliter and one liter is equivalent to thousand cubic centimeter. And gas densities is basically how we have a, a very wide range for densities. So density is an example of intensive 
property. So it means that it is independent of the amount of substance. So it doesn't matter how much of that substance we have. The density is not changing with mass and it's completely independent of mass. So that's why we call it intensive property. We will see later on we have some other properties which are extensive properties. So it means that the value of the properties are changing with the amount of substance. But here density is intensive property and it is completely independent of the amount of substance. One of the characteristics of density is that it is changing with temperature. So here we have density of water as a function of temperature. As you see here with increasing the temperature, the density is reducing, slightly reducing the density because density is mass per volume and you know mass is completely independent of temperature but volume is with increasing the temperature it is expanding so we have expansion so the volume is going to be larger and since it is in the denominator the whole term which is density becomes smaller so the density of gases liquids and solids are changing with temperature and they are reducing with increasing temperature.